I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we're coming to you live here at the Alltech Ideas Conference here in Lexington, Kentucky, also known as 119. Today, our guest is Dr. Richard Murphy with Alltech. How are you, Richard? Kurt, thank you very much. I'm great. And you? What's your title? I'm the research director at our European Bioscience Center. That's great. Uh, this is probably not your first Alltech Ideas Conference, I assume. I have been coming to them now continually since 1998. That's great. So 20, what, 21st year, roughly, of, of 35, I hear. So what do you think is the best thing about this Ideas Conference, in your opinion? Um, I always look at them as a great way of catching up with researchers that are in the industry that I know, catching up with colleagues, but more importantly, uh, getting and sharing ideas. Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about. Um, we get exposure to many different speakers from around the globe, um, outside speakers that come in, they share their work uh, with us, then we get, I guess, the chance to hear from thought leaders. Um, so we've had uh, Chris Zook today, we had Bear Grylls obviously yesterday, and it was a, a highlight of the week for me. Um, so yeah, it's always a great way to get new ideas, share new ideas, and catch up with old friends, and, and have a good time too. What does the Alltech One conference mean to you? I mean, with your perspective of 21 years and working with Alltech and knowing Dr. Lyons Sr. And, and Dr. Mark Lyons? Um, I guess the biggest thing I would say about it is change. Um, so I've seen dramatic changes, not just in the way that the conference has, has evolved and been run over the years, but more importantly, how the industry has evolved over the years. And that's that's been fascinating to be part of and, and fascinating to watch. So. Um, I alluded to it yesterday during my, my, my presentation mm -hmm. in that we're, we really are in a golden age of science, I think, again. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen advances in digital technologies that we've been able to tap into and, and literally ideas that we may have had five years ago that we couldn't have pursued at the time, we, c we can do it now and I think mm -hmm. it's going to become even easier. Um, the cost of doing research will come down as well dramatically. Some of, some of these techniques obviously were, were quite expensive um, when they came out first, so DNA sequencing was, was, significant, was a significant cost, and that's now it's, it, it's uh, practically, I can't say negligible, but it's getting quite close to it. Well, you know, I have a few relatives that have spit in the tube and sent it off, you know. <laughs> so I love this next question. As this is one of the preeminent idea conferences really on planet Earth, who or what inspired you along your career path? And I know you work with all tech. But uh, yeah, um, I guess I've always been interested in science. Um, I went to, a, a, I guess, a, a Christian brother school at home in, in Kilkenny in Ireland, and we had a, a particular teacher called Brother O'Donoghue who, uh, who was into science, and I, I guess I got an interest in science from him. Mm -hmm. um, down through the years then, uh, I, I guess one of the big inspirations for me would have been um, uh, an American biochemist called Albert Leninger, believe it or not. Okay. Um, he was a, a man who, a researcher who would, um, another researcher called Eugene Kennedy, I think it was, they discovered how um, cells make energy. Um, and that really got me fired up. But he had a great way of, of uh, writing articles and writing books. And in fact, his uh, textbooks are still used to this day. So um, he, was, he was able to communicate science. And, and th that was something I think that kind of kept me interested and, and got my intrigue going even more. So he would have been a, I never met the man, never knew him, but he would have been a, a big influencer. Yeah, like a pretty cool teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Dr. Murphy? And it could be more than one, personal or professional. <laughs> um, my dad used to always say, never discuss religion and politics in pubs. <laughs> That's always a good one. <laughs> um, I, I think probably one of the best pieces of advice I could give in the area of science, and particularly the area of science communication to get ideas across, is keep it simple. Um, and, and that's a, an important lesson that I got from Dr. Lyons, actually, believe it or not, way back in 1994. It was the first time I met the man. Um, I had just embarked on a PhD sponsored by Alltech at our, our European headquarters. Um, I was under the tutelage of uh, Dr. Rona Power, a great friend and mentor who, who's here at the moment as well. Um, and Dr. Lyons came around, he wanted to meet all the, the, the new students that were, were working with Altec, and uh, he asked me to explain my project. So I was this you know, starry-eyed 20-year-old out to save the world and um, spent the next 10, 15 minutes just blabbering basically. And uh, at the end of it, Dr. Lyons stopped and he looked at Ronan and uh, he looked back at me, he looked at Ronan again, he says, Ronan, have you ever taught Richard to kiss? 
And Ronan was a bit, a little bit taken aback. I didn't know what to, Richard, you need to keep it simple. Mm. And that was an important lesson. I think it's, uh, that's what we try and do when we try and communicate our messages across these days is to, I guess, try and keep it simple. He had a beauty, a beautiful way of distilling things, <laughs> Dr. Lyons <laughs> Sr. He sure did, he sure did. Yeah. In your best dreams for your ideas, you know, and how it could shape planet Earth 100 years from now, what would that look like to you? Kind of a magic wand, if you will. Uh, Oh, um, I think sustainability is a huge area for us. And I mean, if we're to feed the planet, if we're to flee, feed, you know, the ever expanding population, um, we really do need to focus on sustainability. And that, I mean, everything is linked within the, the cycle of life, within the, you know, the, the cycle of, of productivity, if you like. Um, and if we need to feed more people, we need to find easier and cheaper ways to do it, but we also need to have less of a negative impact on the planet. And I think that's uh, across all sectors. Um, but yeah, sustainability, I think, is one of the... Do you feel like as a species or humanity, we're doing a pretty good job? Are we moving in the needle? Or how do you feel about that? Um, we, we are making inroads. We're, we're facing more and more challenges, obviously, along the way. Um, We've a lot, we, if I was to give us a scorecard, yeah, uh, I would probably say we're a D. I don't think I. Maybe I'm being too critical there, but oh no, no, but that makes you work harder, right? Yeah, I think so. I think we've got we've got a lot to do. We've, mm -hmm. We we do have a lot to do. Um, everything from climate change to um, energy resources, mm -hmm. uh, food security, energy security. All of these are, I guess, critical areas for us to look at and I think we can do a lot better than we are doing to be honest. Now we do a much more formal studio type interview which obviously we don't have the luxury of time today so this is a pretty pithy heavy <laughs> meaty question if you will at an agricultural conference but when the great day comes Dr. Murphy you know God forbid it's your last day on earth how do you want to be remembered by family friends American colleagues Irish colleagues etc. Um, wow yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's a good one. Um, I actually like the quote from Dr. Lyons that we made a difference. And uh, I think if, if all of us can make a difference in some way, no matter how small or how big it is, and towards that, that goal of you know, um, increasing or, or reducing our footprint and having a beneficial impact on sustainability, I think that would be a, a good thing. So definitely, yeah, he made a difference. Dr. Murphy, honor and humble for you to be on Thank Moxie Talk much. with Kurt Jacobs here at the Alltech Conference. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Murphy, here on Moxie Talk at the All Tech Ideas Conference here in Lexington, Kentucky, also known as 119. Stay tuned for more. We'll be right back. Music